असलम स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होपफुली यू हैव लर्न द यस्ट डेज लेक्चर आई डेड पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच विद यू पीपल टू स्टार्ट द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन क्वेश्चन दैट विल कम टू योर फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन राइट एंड आई हैव गिवन यूर टास्क टू राइट डाउन द नेम ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच and uh, the one word def one word definition of that part of the speech right hopefully you people have done all this activity on your notebooks uh, now we are going to practice translation and for doing translation we need to start with the tenses right today we are going to do present indefinite tense which tense we are going to do present indefinite tense now girls keep in in your mind that the time has been divided into three categories number 1 is past which is past which is past you know which will never come back that is past present is the critical line between the past and the future that is a very very small span of time which is called present why because everything that i said a moment ago that has become a past and everything that i will say after even a few second that is still a future and the third category is future which is yet to come today and each tense either it is present past or future it is further categorized into the four categories present indefinite for example present is divided into present indefinite present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous hope you will remember it you can find these categories in each of your key books right today we are going to do present indefinite what we are going to do we are going to do present indefinite and specifically the affirmative sentences of the affirmative sentences of the present indefinite what is affirmative affirmative mean affirmative mean positive what does affirmative mean affirmative mean positive sentences now the structure of the english language is that i told you there is a subject there is a subject then verb then object and what is the word which define the tenses that is verb verb is a word which is going to tell us that this sentence belong to present indefinite or past indefinite or future indefinite or any other category now coming to the affirmative sentences of the present indefinite now see this is the formula that you are going to follow in each of the sentence this is now remember girls that this is the only sentence which takes first form of the verb remember it this is the only tense out of 12 sentences that takes the first form of the verb and there is addition of s and es in the in the first form of the verb when the subject is singular now this is the only tense out of the 12 sentences which does not take any helping verb any helping verb along with the main first form of the verb in the affirmative sentences we are talking about the affirmative sentences what does affirmative mean affirmative mean positive sentences right where you will understand it definitely when we will go on to the next slide now this what is the use of this tense this tense is used to tell us about the routine about the universal truths about the habits and plus commentary on the matches like you watch um, cricket matches with much interest and you um, if you listen the commentary 
तो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दैट इज डन इन द प्रेजेंट इन डेफिनेट एंड एंड नाउ वॉट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स वॉट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स वॉट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ अफर्मेटिव सेंटेंसेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही गोज टू स्कूल आई ईट अ मैंगो दे वॉक इन पार्क नाउ दिस इज द अफर्मेटिव सेंटेंस ऑफ प्रेजेंट इन डेफिनेट नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट लाइफ that is how you will make the negative how you will make the negative sorry how you will make the negative how you will make the negative of the present indefinite the formula will remain same subject then you will add do or does plus first form of the verb verb plus object like this is written over here for example if you say he does not go to school it means there is a negativity what does negative mean the sentences which are tell which are telling us something about the negative activity for example he does not go to school i do not like reading they do not go for a walk now what is important important note that the addition of s and es that you people did in the affirmative sentences with the first form of the verb will be will not be done in the negative and interrogative sentences will not be done will be will not be done right will not be done in the negative and interrogative sentences why because the addition that you did in the goes in the positive or affirmative sentences that has shifted over here right that is why in the negative sentence you say he does not go to school now you will not say this is incorrect sentence you cannot say he does not goes to school no this es has been shifted to do right you understood hopefully you get it now coming to the next slide how we will make the interrogative sentences interrogative mean question mark interrogative mean question mark interrogative mean question mark now you will bring helping verb in the start and then subject then first form of the verb object and then the question mark do they give go to school question mark does he write a note in his notebook question mark do i go for a walk question mark now girls this is something very important that you must have understand ke adding question mark at the end of the sentence is compulsory right if in the interrogative sentences you have not written question mark at the end of the sentence so definitely your marks will be deducted and sometimes it comes even in the correction of errors that they do not put question mark at the end of the interrogative sentences and you have to do it yourself now you get it what i am saying now coming to the practice of im present indefinite sentences right here you can see ki we have we have few sentences that are written in urdu and this is the translation of those those sentences in english this is only here because you can practice it at your home for example मैं अपने भाई से प्यार करता हूँ आई लव माई ब्रदर हेयर आई इज़ द सब्जेक्ट लव इज द वट इज़ लव कैन यू टेल वर्ब हेयर लव इज प्रजेंटेड हेयर एज अ वर्ब माई ब्रदर इज ऑब्जेक्ट राइट हेयर मैं तैरना जानता हूँ आई नो हाउ टू स्विम हम हर रोज अखबार पढ़ते हैं वी रीड द न्यूज़ पेपर डेली नाउ हेयर वी हैव नॉट यूज द वर्ड 
we have not used the word studied read we use read for the newspapers then naseema hamesha sach bolti hai naseema always speaks the truth mehnati talib ilm inam paate hain hard working students get reward you can write reward here or prizes it's up to you bacche chidiya ghar ki sair se lutf uthate hain children enjoy the visit to zoo khuda unki madad karta hai jo apni madad aap karte hain god help those who help themselves doobte ko tinke ka sahara a drowning man catches a at a straw wo guna par nahi pashtata hai he does not repent on sin lakdi pani mein nahi doobti hai wo does not sink in water kya wo apne kiye par sharam mehsoos karta hai does he feel ashamed of his act now girls can you see there is a question mark there is a question mark at the end of sorry sorry there is a question mark at the end of the interrogative sentences okay ye talba waqt kyun zaya karte hain can you tell me yes it's the only you people who can translate this sentence talba aakhir waqt kyun zaya karte hain why do these students waste their time oh my god acha bacche aankh macholi kahan khelte hain where do children play hide and seek sharif aadmi ki izzat ki jaati hai ki jaati hai a gentleman is respected here this sentence is written in passive voice okay mujhe jurmana nahi kiya jata hai i am not fined this is also in the passive voice now girls you have i did few sentences with you just to practice now coming to the next slide yes this is your work that you are going to do in your rough registers or in your neat books now this is a paragraph and most of its lines are given in present indefinite sentence and you will receive such paragraph you will receive such paragraph in your final exams for translation as well right now what you have to do you have to do that write down this paragraph